Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on Ethereum. I uh, wanted to do a full update on that as I, as I do daily. I mean, if you are interested in these uh, daily Ethereum updates, then make sure to subscribe. But basically what we'll do in this video is we'll do a full technical overview of what's going on. I mean, we have been very, very bullish again. Yesterday, Ethereum actually, I would not want to say caught up because Bitcoin right now is around these levels. So if Bitcoin and Ethereum were as strong as each other, uh, Ethereum should be at 2100. But something like that could still happen. I mean, it could be it could be true that we're, we're just lagging behind a bit, even though I, I do not think inherently that Ethereum is as bullish right now as Bitcoin, because there's a lot of Bitcoin specific good news, which we also talked about yesterday. Uh, but we'll do a full technical overview. We'll also talk about some fundamentals like today, we got some big economic events influencing the, the dollar strength index. And apart from that, we also have the second testimony by Jerome Powell. Yesterday, it was quite bullish, where he also made some remarks on crypto, which were bullish. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's going pretty well in the markets. But we'll talk about that in this video. Before we dive into that, check out the little banner there at the top. I have my own trading signal group with its own trading course. If you are interested in that, then check out the links down in the description or the pinned comments. And there you will find instructions on how to join. But now on to uh, Ethereum. So... The thing is, is we, we have technically hit a major resistance level around 1920, 1940. Um, that has been our resistance level for quite uh, some time or not, 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 a, not a resistance level, but it has been a respected key level for a long time. Basically, since the start of April has been resistance and support. Um, but now the big question is, is, can we break above that? And first of all, it's going to depend heavily on what Bitcoin does today. And in my eyes, what Bitcoin does heavily depends on all of the news that we have today. So we have to go over that. If you want to check it out for yourself, I would suggest you look up myfxbook.com, um, which you probably cannot see because of the banner right now, but it's uh, just my and then fxbook.com. There you can find all of these uh, all of these events. So initial jobless claims and existing home sales are most important for the, the economic part of it. If the initial jobless claims are higher than expected and the existing home sales are lower than expected, then that could actually be enough for Ethereum. And this is what we want to see to get some sort of a bullish breakout above 1940 and to get up to our next resistance level around uh, 2020. Now, the big question is, is, is this really the most likely scenario at this point of time? Because we have already rallied a lot. It looks like Bitcoin is running out of steam a little bit. Not too much, but it, it does it does look that way a bit, right? So um, it's hard to say right now. I would say that if like the next two candles, so not only this one, but also the next one, if those close above this level right here, which we're at between nine, 1905 and 1910, Right, so let me repeat that. If this candle and the next one close above 1905, then I think there's enough bullish momentum coming from those events to actually get up to those levels around 2000 and 2020. But I actually think it's a little bit more likely at this point of time that we'll actually see a bit of a correction for Ethereum so that we'll break down below that level uh, and drop down to this level right here at around 1850 and 1860 and find support there. Um, and then from there, we'll see again. I mean, frankly, if we retrace a little bit right now, I would expect some more price stability. So that means I would just be back tomorrow with a new update for, for all of you. Uh, but for now, that's uh, that's the main thing. I mean, it, it, it's really going to depend on that 1905, 1910 level. Uh, this level, as you can see, we broke above that. We're now trying to find support there. If we can really confirm that support for one more candle at least, then I think there's enough bullish momentum. Otherwise, it's more likely to uh, see a little bit of um, see a little bit of a cooling down. But that's my take on Ethereum for now. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.